Hello, love. Welcome to your soul support message for this eternal now moment. This is the message intended for the highest and greatest good of the Elsh Collective, empaths, lightworkers, starseeds, and healers here on a mission, here on a spiritual journey, here in the process of awakening. Maybe you haven't awakened yet. Maybe you're awakening again and again. Whenever you find this message, it is made with the intention of finding you when you need it, okay? Um, I am actually not going to be popping any cards today. I wasn't guided to do that going into the meditation. The first card that appeared to me was this. This is the Judgment card from the Mystic Mondays Tarot deck. I want you to take a moment, please, to look at the imagery here. This is a card ruled by Pluto, traditionally, in the tarot. This tarot deck is based on Pamela's deck, right? The Rider Waite Smith. Whenever I pull this card or I pop this card, it reminds me of a portal. And what I love about it is that it's essentially almost a kind of higher octave of transformation that happens with the death card. Um, and as this, as this card appeared to me, being directed then to the energies of Pluto and Pluto nas himself, right? The energies of Pluto. Um, I, I was immediately directed to the age of Aquarius, okay? And talking and speaking about the age of Aquarius and I heard the fifth dimensions, age of Aquarius, and have been guided to share specific parts of that song with you. And I'm actually gonna link that song in the description below so you can listen to it because Archangel Sandalphon really coming through for this particular aspect of the message in terms of the music and the messages that wanna come through, Plutonas, the age of Aquarius, and the dawning of the age of Aquarius and the age of Aquarius really beginning, right? With Pluto entering Aquarius. And I wanna direct you to these two planetary looking figures here, right? There is almost, again, getting so much portal energy coming through here. The reflection almost of the moon card in this as well right, with the two, these two mountain-like figures here. They look crystalline in nature as well to me, right? Um, and this sort of like moving into these, these passing through these pillars, right? Moving into another dimension, right? Moving into another, and whatever that dimension is, it could be a new dimension of growth. It could be the actual dimensions of consciousness because that is what this is all about, right? And it's interesting that the group who created the song, The Age of Aquarius, was called The Fifth Dimension, right? So I'm going to read to you just the lyrics that were I was directed to focus on here. First, it was, I'm going to actually go to this part first while I hold the card. When the moon is in the seventh house and Jupiter aligns with Mars, then peace will guide the planet and love will steer the stars. When the moon, that is our emotional body, right, is in the seventh house. The seventh house is the house of relationships, partnerships. It is the house that's ruled by Libra. It is about really finding a balance between polarities, right? And there's something specific in this message, message wanting to come through now about the balancing of emotions, the balancing of the inner with the outer, the inner being the inner of our inner selves and reflecting that outward and a kind of balance coming forward in that connection, right? Jupiter aligns with Mars and immediately I'm like, Jupiter, Mars, right? Um, Jupiter aligns with Mars. So what is this? This is a balancing of, interestingly enough, what I feel 
coming through for this particular reading that they want us to focus on here. And when I say they, I'm talking about the energies in present in this reading, right? Through source, spirit wanting to direct us to this balancing of the masculine energies, these Jupiter expansive energies aligning with the Mars-like energies, the tempering of these warlike, hard-driving, aggressive energies with a much more abundant, open, Santa Claus-like energy that wants to embrace everyone, right? Jupiter is also associated with Sagittarius, right? And it is this sort of higher knowledge, this bigger picture vision of things with the Mars-like day-to-day -day fight, right? And I use that word specifically here because we're moving out of that energy. That is a very kind of 3D type energy, right? For lack of a better way of putting it. Then peace will guide the planets and love will steer the stars. So there's also a nod here to the external as above, so below the internal, how the internal can also as below, so above now with the energy ramping up, with your focus, with your vibration shifting, with the work you're doing to heal, to transform yourself, right? Moving into that next dimension, that next reality of your life, okay? When I say dimension here, I'm not talking about a physical, actual dimension. I'm speaking about a form of consciousness, a way of being. Your energy, right? Transforming itself again and again upon itself. So there's so much here. You know, I keep on getting this message of like coming back to basics, like really making it simple again, right? They're also wanting me to speak to focusing on the third eye, developing clairvoyance, right? Trusting the things that you see in your mind's eye, this kind of opening up as well of the throat chakra. I was directed to that through crystals, which I'm gonna share in a minute. Um, expressing the things you see, not being scared to do that anymore. Not being scared to do that anymore, right? That's part of this expansion of consciousness, your own individual, internal, that trust in yourself to be able to speak up, to be able to express what it is that you came here to do, all right? And there's something in the energy of this song, like, that's just really, there's a, there's a high vibration to this song, okay? There's an, there's an energy around this song, like, you aren't being invited to listen to this song again, to really hear into this song, and just listen to the music, listen to the, feel the energy, feel the energy, feel the frequency connected to this song, okay? And the one part that they really wanted me to um, share with you is harmony and understanding, Sympathy and trust abounding. No more falsehoods or derisions. Golden living dreams of visions. Mystic crystal revelation. And the mind's true liberation. Okay? And the mind's true liberation. This goes right back to your sovereignty. To awakening the sovereignty within you. Right? Harmonizing. Understanding sympathy, empathy, the, the finding of a balance between the old and the new, right? And I love how we've got a reference here to golden and crystal, okay? So this golden crystal energy um, is an energy of illumination and enlightenment. And I feel it's being reflected back to us in this sort of portal image that you see here as well. Now, I was directed to share with you Amethyst again, of course. I'll pull this guy up so you can see it. Like, look at that. Working with Amethyst as a crystal. This uh, is a very specific message for working with it in relation to your third eye, your mind's eye, okay? Um, I'm just showing you a piece here of this celestial amethyst, okay? 
Aquamarine was another one. This is kind of a nod to Aquarius, right? So I know this looks very, very light, but it's a very, very pale blue color. Okay, and you can get different sort of um, shades of aquamarine, but it is that very aqua color, right? This is more um, connected to the throat and to the energies of really putting these two in alignment, what you see and what you say and how you express yourself, right? So a lot of, there's another kind of energy here with the aquamarine of also really finding, I'm hearing like your true gifts and expressing your true gifts in the world, expressing those true gifts and selenite, which I also have a piece my selenite hill pillar here, the selenite pillar, and this sort of selenite ruler. Now, selenite is very cleansing, very clearing, very um, high vibrational in the sense that it can very easily raise your vibration so you can attune to higher frequencies. And there's something in selenite that goes back to this moon energy, right? There is a kind of, it's a, it's interesting with selenite because it can feel um, very lunar in its qualities, very Luna-esque in the full sense, the full releasing sense of Luna, helping to release energies, right? The reflective qualities of Luna as well in selenite. Um, and it can really aid, I find, in transformation. That's what's sort of crazy, because it is that sort of energy of clearing out all the crap, right? All the things that really, truly are no longer you, They're the, or the things that are not in alignment with your true self, your authentic self, right? And very much like this portal, walking through this portal, right? There's an intensity to selenite, I think is what I'm trying to say at certain times. And I could go on and on and on about it because there's so much more. Um, working with crystals is just so nuanced, you know? I've talked about that before. So I hope that this has helped in some way. I will link the song uh, down below meditate on those lyrics, feel into the frequency of this particular song. Really feel into it, especially where we are at right now, okay? I feel like there was one final thing that wanted to come through here that I may have overlooked. No, I just keep on hearing in the mind's true liberation, Aquarius. <laughs> That's it. That's all they're just like, pay attention to the lyrics. Yeah. A mind's true liberation. And bringing that back into balance again, because we did talk about that yesterday with regard to the, the fact that the ego is not all bad and that it's really about, again, bringing this into balance. You know, the ego, just like anything, exists on a spectrum. There is a lower dysfunctional aspect of it. And there is a higher, more functional, healthy aspect of it. And sometimes it's even not, you can't really think of it in terms of higher or lower, in terms of going up or coming down. It's more like ascension, descension. I don't want to, because each, they all have value. Every, every end of the spectrum has value. And it's really about looking at it much more holistically. You know, when we get to the judgment card, we are at a very, very, we're like right at the end or almost at the end of the major arcana and that cycle. So this is a very, a much more expansive, evolved understanding of where the soul is at once you get to that place of judgment, right? And being able to see everything from every angle, from every perspective. That is the direction that we are moving in. All right. Okay. I'm going to leave it there. Thank you so much for being here.
thanking my guides, Spirit, for coming through for this message, Archangel Sandifon, the energies of Glutona coming in, the age of Aquarius, baby. <laughs> Okay, thank you for being here. Thank you for liking this video, sharing it, subscribing it. I am sending you so much love wherever you are. In love and liberation always.